Welcome to Learning Simulation Engineering. In the previous video, we have discussed on uh, basics of pressure, especially how we define the pressure, what are different types of pressure, and what are different units, and how to derive those units. So, in this video, we are going to discuss on the pressure measurement devices. So, what are different types of pressure measurement devices available, and how they are working, and what are different applications of those pressure measurement devices will be explained in this video. So, keep tuned okay first and foremost uh, we already know that pressure is a force acting per unit area uh, if suppose you have a, a one square uh, centimeter area and you apply 10 kg per centimeter square pressure it means in one square centimeter area you are giving 10 kg of force so you just imagine that is the real term of pressure so that's a force acting per unit area so how these devices are going to measure the pressure there are different types of pressure measurement techniques uh, first and foremost is gravitational gauges and deformation gauges and the third is transmitter and transducer so today we will be concentrating uh, mainly on the gravitational gauges and the deformation gauges uh, because transmit and transducer are very vast topic and we will cover in the next video. So let's see what is a gravitational gauge. So a uh, gravitational gauge is nothing but they uh, measure the pressure without any primary element or secondary element or any sensor that's called the gravitational gauges. They directly uh, measure the pressure and uh, the example for those are uh, manometers. We have different types of manometers over here. Uh, U-type manometers, well tube, uh, inclined manometers. Uh, for example, you could see in this figure, <clears throat> this is a pipe. Uh, we have an orifice plate over there. It's a restriction. <clears throat> in the upstream of the orifice plate, you have a high pressure, and in downstream, you have a low pressure. And in between the high and low pressure, we have a tapping, and that has been connected to a U-tube manometer. You could see over here. Due to high pressure in the HP lug, the pressure is exerted on the liquid that push the liquid to the uh, LP, right? And you could see the difference in the head between them. And this is the uh, real pressure. And this is how a YouTube uh, manometer works, okay? So this is basically the functioning of uh, gravitational gauges. And next type is the deformation gauges. Uh, to, what is deformation gauges? Basically, they have a um, conversion factor. That is, they convert the real pressure or real force into a different mechanism. Uh, for example, let's uh, see there are three types of uh, deformation uh, gauges over here. Uh, Bowden tube, uh, bellows and diaphragm. If you see a Bowden uh, tube, it was uh, invented by Eugen Bowden. Uh, basically, he was a French uh, watchmaker and also an engineer who invented this uh, uh, Bowden gate. It's a C-type gate. You can see over here the pressure goes inside the sensor or the C-type Bowden tube. And it has a link mechanism that links between the C-type Bowden and the quadrant pinion arrangement and that moves to and fro. So, and this uh, quadrant pinion arrangement is connected to a pointer that that uh, goes to and fro in the dial gauge you could see over here the uh, working of a body and tube the pressure which uh, gets into the inlet of the c-tube board on and uh, the c-tube get straightened sorry it get expanded and this causes the linkage to move and further it causes the quadrant pinion arrangement to move further which causes the pointer to move in the dial gauge so this is how they uh, Bowden gauge works and this is a very good fine example for this deformation gauges here the primary sensing element is an elastic tube it might be astaloid C or stainless steel so this is uh, this pressure is converted into a mechanical moment this is called a deformation uh, gauges and next we have a bellows stripe so how does bellows looks like a bellows pressure sensor looks like a small metal can with flexible sides and that have radius. A spring is attached to one end of the bellows. You could see over here. So when the pressure is applied uh, from the bottom, 
the bellows contract and moves the spring at distance that is proportional to the force. A pointer is attached to the spring and that indicates the pressure. So this is how a bellows work. And finally, we have um, diaphragm gauges. Uh, diaphragm, you could see over here, it's essentially a flexible disc that uh, changes shape when the pressure uh, changes. So how does it look like? You could see over here, the center part of the diaphragm, which uh, gets in, uh, exerted by the pressure and it moves the disc such a way that it uh, moves a connecting link and that is connected to a pointer and that changes in the dial scale. So this is how a diaphragm uh, gauge works and uh, these are the three different types of deformation gauges. So today we have uh, seen the different types of deformation gauges, gravitational gauges and the next will be the uh, transmitter and transducer that will be covering the next video. So today you have got a very good idea on the pressure measurement devices which is broadly classified into these three types. So if this video is very useful to you, please hit the like button and uh, share to our instrument community. And if you want uh, such videos from instrumentation, please subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.